Hey everybody. I was going to take this video down because I I had misspoken. It was not a sim update 10 beta feature that I found. I had not seen it previously and I made that assumption erroneously. It is actually part of the Discus 2C sailplane premium package from Gut Friends. That plane is now available in the MS store. I saw it there yesterday. I think it was $14.99, $15 US, which means it's probably most likely now in the MS store as well. I mean, the Sim the Xbox store as well. But I wanted to leave the video up just to show off the features anyway. So there's four soaring thermals that are now included with the premium package from Gut Friends. You have Soaring Winter, Soaring Summer, Soaring Ridge, and Soaring Cross Country. Now, if you can't tell, this is Soaring Winter. Um, the, the weather is all controlled, so the, the clouds, the snow on the ground, and the wind layers, temperatures, humidity are all modified for each of these packages. So some of them are very, very high humidity, some are low, some have a lot of wind. The winter, to me, was the hardest. It seemed like that's a, would be the hardest time to do a sailplane. I could be wrong, but I, I was not able to really get this up high or keep it going for long in the winter package. The, uh, oh, here's the, the shot with the, the tow rope. Really kind of neat. The livery that I'm flying under right now is not one of the included liveries. This is the Discus 2C Glider Premium Livery Pack, and this was the developer on FlightSim.to is Chunky Flyer, and he has some absolutely fantastic, beautiful liveries for a lot of planes. And so his, his liveries are always well worth adding. Um, and originally it was just for the normal version, but he's updated these now to work with the FES version as well. And if you don't know what that is, that is the little, oh, it's a white one that's got the eagle. Uh, that is the little electric powered propeller that sits on the front of the airplane folded up and ready to go. It's a sustainer. It's a sustainer engine, I think they call it, right? I believe that's the term. I do love the winch control. It's really, really nice. Oh, I wanted to get away from saying double words like that. <laughs> really, really nice or very, very cool. Or trying to be conscious of that because I notice I do it a lot. You'll see here a little bit of a trail behind me. That's water from the ballast tanks I'm releasing. Give myself a little bit more buoyancy. Yeah, this this particular weather preset, I was able to glide a very long time and I take off to landing on this one. It was really nice. I, I did land on all of them. I just didn't record it. But the, uh, well, actually not the winter. The winter one, I probably would have had to do an emergency landing because I just couldn't keep it. I couldn't keep it aloft good enough to really get back to the strip. But the winch control is really nice. You can adjust it, the cable length, the height, the speed, um, which probably is good to know depending on the thermals, which one you want to use. I love the chart or the graph that shows you rising up the slope to the release point and you can release it yourself at any point in time obviously but it'll automatic release at a certain level as well or if you want to you can increase your angle of attack, attack to such a, a great angle that you'll snap the cable <laughs> so the brakes on this are very very nice they are just you can adjust them really smoothly so you don't have to open them all the way up or all the way closed. You can go in between and use them like 
flaps in. Just really, really well done. The whole plane is, the cockpit is, the plane itself. I love looking out and seeing those massive flexible wings. So now here I'm going to show you changing the canopy tint. You won't see it too much, but you'll see it going from like a blue to an orangish color. And so it's very minimal, but it does make a difference in the air and can be very nice depending again on the con weather conditions to be able to change that. Uh, there was one I clicked on and I couldn't figure out what the heck it was because it was so screwy looking and then I looked at it from the outside and I realized it was a protective cover for the canopy. So that's an option as well. Just not one you want on while you're flying. Actually, I don't think you can fly with it anyhow, but yeah, you can put a cover on it as well, which is really nice. We have the little wheel in the middle there. These thermal conditions were awesome. I probably stayed aloft here for a good 30 or 35 minutes under these conditions. So again, I apologize. I thought it was some update 10 beta because I had not seen it before and discovered it really by accident. But it is not. It's part of the Discus Sailplane Premium Package from Gut Friends. Check it out. See you in the skies.